Hi Taurus, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, why did your person ghost you? Why did your person ghost you? Okay, so um, of course, this is going to be only for you Tauruses who um, were dealing with someone who disappeared on you or ghosted you. We're going to see why they ghosted you, what are their current feelings for you right now, and what actions will they take towards you in the near future. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up to my video. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that too. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, why did this person ghost Taurus? Please show me. Okay, Taurus, first card we have here is the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, that would be your energy, Taurus, the Eight of Swords in Reverse, mm, okay, I need more cards, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, the Four of Cups in Reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. Hmm. Let me take a look here. I feel like this is just a, a, a case of someone being, um, someone getting cold feet, I'm going to say. Cold feet. I'm noticing um, this... This girl's feet are in in a puddle of water. I feel like it's ice water. Someone got cold feet. I feel like this person had every intention of um, approaching you with, you know, a declaration of love or an offer of love here. Um, this would be your energy. I'm reading this as, you know, Taurus energy here. I immediately notice a difference here. For some of you, there's a difference in age. Yeah. For some of you, there's a different in age. Knight of Cups would be the younger energy, and Queen of Pentacles is an older energy. Um, so none doesn't necessarily have to be that way, but for some of you, someone is, either you or them, is much older. But it can, it can also be, I feel like this person felt, um, felt small. In your energy or felt felt intimidated in your in your energy um, I feel like your energy feels very strong and powerful it's like you're very confident here with the Queen of Pentacles upright very very secure in in your worth in your value and in, in what you value and in what you know you want in your truth For some reason, this person felt intimidated by you here, or they they suddenly felt like maybe they're not good enough for you. They suddenly felt like maybe you deserve better, you know? So the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse, so I feel like this is them backtracking. They were moving forward. All of a sudden, they just started moving backwards. And again, I feel like it's 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 because they got cold feet. Like it wasn't planned. It was just kind of a, 
a spur of the moment, you know, that they just suddenly changed their mind here. And the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse, so they, this is them feeling like it's not going to work out. This is going to be a waste of time. This is going to be a waste of energy. Um, this is never going to grow. So they gave up on you here, basically. They felt like they couldn't give you what you deserved. Or they felt like there was too much of a of a separation between you two. I, what, I don't know what kind of separation. Like, um, there was a... There was a divide here between you two where it's almost like you two are not are not at the same level. And again, they feel like you are at a higher level. Like if you're a better person or you're more mature, you're more stable, you're more... Um, you're more grounded than them or like... Yeah, they just... I feel like they felt like you deserved more. Or you deserved better. They felt like they couldn't really give you what they what you deserved. Interesting. Okay. So let's take a look at what are their current feelings for you. Let me see. I'm going to change the deck and I'm going to use this one. Spirit angels and guides, what are this person's current feelings for Taurus? Please show me. I didn't I don't think I mentioned this but um I forgot to say that my readings are for sun moon rising and venus okay um and I always recommend watching your venus sign okay since venus is the planet of love it's going to be more relevant to to this type of reading which is a love reading Spirit angels and guides, what are this person's current feelings for Taurus? Deep breath. I don't know why I felt like I needed to take a deep breath there. Let's see why. First card we have here is Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Really? Hmm. What else? Knight of Cups upright. Five of Swords in Reverse. Page of Cups in Reverse. Six of Swords in Reverse. And the Justice card upright. Oh, so this person knows that they offer they that they need to give you an apology, that they owe you an apology. I see them wanting to return back to you to say that they're sorry, they feel guilty here. With the page of cup, cups in reverse, they feel really guilty because oh look, this is the knight of cups twice. Yeah, knight of cups here. And the Knight of Cups at the beginning of the reading here. Um, that just shows me that this person's feelings for you were genuine, you know. Yeah, that's that's what that tells me. That this person's intentions with you were genuine. Like they really wanted to declare their love for you. And they really wanted to express their love to, to you. And to get things moving forward between you and them it was it was never their intention to like hurt you or to um be unfair to you but they do realize that they were unfair with the justice card being here and again with the page of cups in reverse this is feeling guilty and feeling um sorry so i do see this person um wanting to return back to you to sincerely apologize again i feel like it wasn't planned like they never planned 
it wasn't pre-planned to like ghost you or walk away from you. It was just something, um, an emotional decision that happened, you know, in the spur of the moment. They, it's like they got overwhelmed. Oh, all of a sudden they got overwhelmed. Yeah, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I'm trying to read what this is. Yeah, I think they did have, you know, it's almost like they had a script, <laughs> is what I feel like. They had something planned out that they wanted to say to you or that they wanted to do with you. They had some sort of plan, but yeah, they they let go of that plan. They didn't follow through with that plan, and they are sorry about it, okay? All right, so let's see what are this person's actions in the near future. Let's take a look with, um, what deck do I want to use? I'm going to go with this one. All right, spirit angels and guys, what actions will this person take towards Taurus in the near future? Four of Swords, Two of Swords in reverse showed itself. I'm going to put it back in the deck though because I don't like taking cards that, that fly out of the deck. I just don't like taking those cards for whatever reason. It doesn't connect with me. And if those cards are meant to be red, then they'll, they'll come back up again. All right. What actions will this person take in the near future? Strength card in reverse. The world card in, in reverse. The tower card in the reverse. So this person is definitely going to be returning back to you for sure. Um, this isn't uh, a permanent disappearance here. What else? The hermit card upright. The seven of swords upright. The sun in reverse. Yeah, this person sees you as their happiness for sure. They see you as their happiness, but the hermit card is here. So this person second guesses themselves a lot. They're, they're an overthinker here. Could be any sign, by the way. I didn't mention the signs, but it could be a... Earth sign here, Taurus like yourself, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we have Libra, Leo. They second guess themselves here. They see you as their happiness, but um, it's like they don't believe what they see. They need more reassurance. Mm, what else? Yeah, Four of Cups. Look at that. This is this is someone who definitely self-sabotages, basically. Huge self-sabotaging energy. They see something right in front of them, but they don't believe it. They need evidence that it really exists, that it's really there. This is someone who needs a lot of reassurance. And... Um, I feel like this person plays the victim a lot with the Four of Cups. They like to put themselves in a victim role here or um, they like to feel sorry for themselves also. This is someone who doesn't follow through. Like I feel like this is a pattern that they have of, of, not, of making plans and not following through with those plans, okay? Okay, general reading is not going to be for everyone, but that's what I'm feeling here. All right, so um, they're definitely going to return back to you, but I don't see them um, making any progress here with you, okay? I see them con still holding back, um, still 
second guessing themselves in regards to this connection with you. All right, Taurus, I hope I helped you out here with this reading. If it was helpful and if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.